All right, now the unit R2D2 sits inside this thing. So what I want to make sure of is maybe there's a little hole in the back and so I can make an R2 unit just kind of stick out halfway. To do so, all I'm going to have to do is worry about where the hole starts and where it begins. Okay, so right here to maybe right here is where that hole needs to go. Okay, I'm going to go in one on the keyboard to see this. So I'm not in real time smooth. Note, it is very hard sometimes to work out this in real time smooth. So don't always use real time smooth. I want to insert an edge loop here also in the dead center. Now that all this is braced around the outside edge, I can do stuff like this. I can take the extrude tool, go to scale, scale all this in. And then what I'm going to do is grab the vertices here, here. And extrude those in. Or just move them in. So what I'm doing here is naturally shaping a circle. Okay, once I get it to a circle, I can now blow it out a little bit too. Okay, then extrude it, send it on down. And you don't have to send this, you know, when you're doing this, you don't have to get everything so freaking perfect that, you know, like, I know I have students that will go research <laughs> the exact depth of this or how tall the R2 unit was. Now keep in mind the R2 unit sat in here and its head moved around okay it did not and in some cases it did jump out of its little hole but um in this case for this model i'm only worried about the aesthetics of it where there looks like there's an r2 unit sitting in here okay so there's that hole and all i did was brace the inside and hit three and voila to make an R2 unit, or a fake looking R2 unit, I can grab this box and I can insert an edge loop here at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I change this material so you can see what I'm doing. If I go mesh smooth on this object, it's round on the top and not round on the bottom. So let's kind of put that in there, see what happens. Modify center pivot. I probably can go mesh smooth one more time on that. And I think also I'm going to make like a little bit of a change here as far as the faces here. So what I'm doing is making the R2 unit look a little bit more detailed just in case somebody looks. Okay, so equal faces on both sides. Extrude it just a little bit. It's 
So it gives it those legs that sat into place. Okay. And then also, I'm just going to insert an edge loop here and here and take this edge and do the edit transform component thing and then move it in with the blue arrow. Okay, so that way it looks like it's two different units. Okay, now if I set this down a little further, at a distance that looks a lot better. And you're just going to have to play with the whole, you know, does he look too tall? Does he look too big? Very cool. All right. As I said, the rest of this stuff is texture. If you look at the, uh, f this illustration, you have all this little doohickey stuff. You have this, you have the R2 unit. All this is just decal at this point. All right. So that is your X-Wing. When you are done with your X-Wing, well, um, please meet me in the next video where I can kind of go over the assignment. Okay? So meet me in the next video.